everybody, Courtney here with Smitty's Fly Box, and we are just going to be going over September's intermediate fly for the month, and it is our bloody tongue, little tungsten nymph pattern um, that we like to fish as a dropper. And it's got our tungsten bead here, just a silver nickel tungsten bead on this size 16 Orients and Barbless hook. I'm going to start my thread behind the bead, wrapping back to just before the bend of the hook. Cut off my tag thread there. I'm going to take my glow bright floss. This is in red. This is where we get the bloody tongue from. It's just that little red butt um, tail coming out the back of the fly. I'm going to go ahead and just fold that in half, just a strand of it. I'll tie that in right on top of the hook shank. I'm actually just going to tie this all the way forward so I don't create any bump in the body of my fly. Just a nice smooth body. So right up to the bead. I'll fold this other, uh, these other two halves back over itself and wrap back down the hook shank. It'll really lock that tail in nice and tight. And then I'm going to cut that tail just shy of the, uh, just a little longer than the hook bend. So it's just poking out just past the bend of the hook. And that'll give us a nice little bright hot spot tail there. Okay, then next I'm going to add in our silver wire. I'm just going to cut out a strand of this. I'm going to place that with that tag end just right along the side of the hook shank, the side facing me. And I'll tie that in right up towards the bead. I like to duck that little tag end right underneath the bead. Okay, so now I've got my wire tied in. I'm going to bring my thread to about the halfway point of the hook shank here, and we're going to tie in our soft tackle first. So I've taken a piece of this partridge feather. Notice I've stripped off all the fuzzy ends here at the bottom. I'm going to just kind of splay, just kind of stroke these fibers back, just leaving the tip of the feather there. I'm going to cut out just a tiny little section there to leaving a little triangle piece here to tie in. And I'm just going to tie that in so the bottom of the feather is facing me. And I'll tie that tip in just like that. And now I'm going to wrap my feather just around like I'm going to palmer some hackle. Just right at that midsection of the fly. What this is doing is this is just going to make these feathers so they're um, more appropriately matched to the size of this hook. Otherwise, if I just did this at the bead and folded these feathers back, they'd be really long feather fibers sticking out over the fly. And I just want them to be nice and short, a nice, smaller, soft tackle. So it looks kind of messy right now, but we'll clean this up here. So I'm just gonna wrap this stem down, trim out my excess. And now I'm gonna fold everything forward Just kind of gather everything in your fingers. And now I'm just going to wrap forward. I'm not putting a lot of tension on there because I'm trying not to let that thread twist those hackle fibers around the hook shank. I just want them to be nice uh, encompassed around the bead as much as I can. I'm going to wrap all the way up to the bead here. I'm going to leave them just like that for now. Okay, so they should just kind of be poking out over top of your bead. We're going to leave them just like that while we tie up the rest of the fly. I'm going to come back here to my tie-in point, and we'll add our dubbing. Okay, so the first dubbing I'm using is just this black diamond dub for the body. I'm going to use a very sparse amount here. I want a nice, tightly dubbed body. I don't want anything really big and bulky. So I'm going to roll that on to my thread, just creating a nice, tight dubbing noodle. And then I'll just start to wrap this up the hook shank. And again, I'm just going to do wraps that are touching wraps. Just kind of following that natural taper of the body that I've kind of built. I'm going to get right up here to behind my hackle. Just a little bit more here, just right behind the hackle collar. And we'll call that good. Okay, so you see that I've got a nice tight profile there on my hackle or on my dubbing. I am going to trim out some of these longer fibers. You know, not necessary, but I just like to have that hackle as smooth and clean as I can. 
but I like the sparkle that this Diamond Dub gives to the fly. Okay, so now I'm going to take my wire and just do even wraps through the body. And so if you've tightly dubbed your, your body on your fly, you'll be able to see these wire wraps kind of come through rather than sink down in and disappear in your dubbing. I'm going to wrap this up to right where my thread's hanging, just behind the wire, or just behind the hackle. And we'll wrap that down. I'm just going to go ahead and take this little hair stacker I've got here and just kind of, this is just to help me gather everything. I'm just going to put that little hair stacker top just right here over that hackle. Come in and grab everything with my fingers. And then I can bring my thread up and around and start to tie down those hackle barbs. So we just want all that hackle just to lay back nice, just like a soft hackle should. And come in and grab that all again. Okay, so there's our soft tackle. And now we're just going to add that last little bit of collar here. And you, I got two different color options of dubbing for the collar. I'm going to use this blue. Just kind of adds a nice little touch to this fly, some contrast. Again, sparse is key on this fly with the dubbing. You don't need a lot. Just brush everything back. And I'm just going to start to build that collar there. Got too much dubbing. You really don't need a lot. So I'm going to take some of that off. Again, brush everything back. Just add that little touch of blue, just adds a nice little contrast to the fly. And that is it. So we're done with that one. Go ahead and whip finish right here behind the bead. So like I said, this is a great little dropper pattern. Um, still fish it off of hoppers, kind of late in the summer, going into fall. Um, it's also obviously a good one just to fish under an indicator uh, or a tag fly in a year on it setup. But that is your bloody tongue. Nice little soft tackle pattern catches fish. Let us know how you do with it and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch all our videos we put out.